Here is the summary of the story, The Rat Trap. Once there was a tramp who made and sold small wire rat traps. Selling rat traps, however, was not profitable, and so he also stole to have enough to eat and stay alive. One day, a thought crossed his mind that the world was little more than a bait set to draw people to their own destruction. The tramp, who had always been ill-treated by the world, found great amusement in this thought. One evening, the tramp knocked on the door of a little cottage, hoping for a chance to rest for the night. The lonely crofter who lived there welcomed the tramp, offering him a hot meal and tobacco. They spent the evening talking and playing measles, a card game. The crofter confided in the tramp about how he earned money and where he kept it. The next morning, the tramp and the crofter left the house together. The tramp bade farewell and went his way, only to return half an hour later. He smashed a window pane and stole the crofter's money. Smug and with his pocket full of money, the tramp decided to walk through the forest to avoid being caught. His joy, however, was short-lived as he got lost in the forest. As he wandered in the forest looking for a way out, he realized that he too had allowed himself to be fooled by bait. Darkness fell and the tramp sank to the ground in despair. Just then, he heard the sound of hammer strokes from a nearby iron mill and stumbled in the direction of the sound. He reached Ramses Ironworks and asked the master smith for a night shelter. The blacksmith, used to such request, nodded his agreement after a casual and indifferent glance at the tramp. Later that night, the owner of the mill, the iron master, arrived at the factory for his nightly inspection. He mistook the tramp for an old acquaintance from the army. The tramp, hoping to extract some cash from the iron master, thought it wise not to reveal his true identity. Things, though, got somewhat unpleasant for the tramp, as the iron master insisted on taking him home, who is the tramp flatly refused. The iron master gave in then, but sent his daughter Edla to persuade the tramp. Edla's friendly manner caused the tramp to change his mind and he went with her. At the house, the tramp was given a haircut, shave, bath and a pair of freshly pressed clothes. The iron master looked at the clean tramp and realized his mistake. He wanted to call the sheriff but finally refrained from it after the tramp convinced him that the world is a rat trap and the iron master himself might get one day ensnared in the trap. The iron master, though amused, asked the tramp to leave at once. However, Adla convinced her father to let the poor tramp spend Christmas with them. The tramp spent Christmas Eve doing little else other than eating and sleeping. The next day at church, the iron master and Edla came to know that the tramp had stolen 30 kronor from the poor crafter. Fearing the worst, father and daughter returned home only to find the tramp gone. He had left a rat trap and a letter for the girl. In the rat trap were the three ten kroner notes of the crofter. In the note, the tramp expressed his desire to reciprocate Edla's kindness and asked her to return the money to the poor crofter. He also said that the rat trap was a Christmas present for her. Because she treated him as if he were a real captain, he was able to escape the world's rat trap. 